the health benefits of coffee. New research. You know, we put together quite a few uh, videos about coffee, and this is the latest research as of uh, May 2017. Heart and strokes. It's being reported that drinking a cup of coffee a day can reduce the occurrence of strokes by up to 25%. In Portugal, research is showing that three to four cups of coffee daily reduces the risk of heart disease. Heart-related illnesses have been linked to low consumption of coffee, a report from Harvard found. That's low consumption of coffee. The health benefits of coffee. It has vitamins, nutrients, and minerals, aids in weight loss, energizes and activates mind and body, reduces risk of developing diabetes, protects liver against cirrhosis and hepatitis, helps to regulate metabolic activity of body, beneficial in preventing liver and colorectal cancer. Regular drinking prevents cardiovascular diseases, gives relief from anxiety, depression, and mood swings, protects cognitive health, and prevents mental degradation. So coffee does have many benefits. And for the brain, Dutch researchers are reporting that coffee may reduce the occurrence of Alzheimer's disease by as much as 20%. That's huge. Not only can coffee make you smarter in the short term, it may also protect your brain in old age. Alzheimer's disease is the most common neurodegenerative disorder in the world and a leading cause of dementia. In prospective studies, coffee drinkers gave, have up to 60% lower risk of Alzheimer's and dementia. Researchers don't fully understand how coffee works to help the brain. It's still out there to learn how it does its magic. Coffee has a high amount of antioxidants and the body seems to absorb more antioxidants from coffee than from any other vegetables or fruits. Concerning your overall health, 40 studies have reported that coffee can improve athletic performance and activities of daily living by reducing muscle pain while improving cognitive functions. Coffee can boost your metabolism by twenty, by 10 to 20% for those who drink one to two cups a day. Coffee drinkers have up to 84% lower risk of developing cirrhosis and a 40% lower risk of liver cancer. A cup of coffee is genetically a generic term for about 100 milligrams of caffeine. Remember, coffee is good if you drink it in moderation. Health benefits of coffee, less likely to have type 2 diabetes, less likely to have dementia, less likely to have Parkinson's disease, reduces the chance of severe several cancers, helps prevent strokes, help prevent coffee, uh, heart rhythm problems, increases endurance, keeps you regular, that it does, helps with muscle pain, has antioxidant, and is an immune system booster. But... How safe is it? Coffee consumption is not for everyone. If you have a heart condition sensitive to caffeine and pregnant women should drink decaffeinated coffee or tea. There are negative issues to investing too much caffeine in reducing the many benefits of coffee offers. Caffeine can cause insomnia, restlessness, nervousness, vomiting, nausea, and upset stomach if consumed in too much an amount, too large an amount. Using too much sugar or milk increases your calorie counts and reduces some of the coffee health benefits. Well, I perfectly prefer a nice black cup of coffee, no sugar, so you get the full flavor of good roasted coffee. Moderation is key to receive the health benefits while reducing the ill effects of too much caffeine. What is a moderate amount of coffee? 400 milligrams of coffee looks like 8 ounce, uh, eight, eight ounce cups of coffee. 85% uh, of Americans consume coffee daily. So, the 10 Health benefits of drinking coffee reduces the risk of kidney stones, treats asthma and headache, reduces the risk of liver disease, 
decreases Parkinson's risk, reduces workout pain, boosts your memory, deters death from heart disease, protects from type 2 diabetes, lowers depression risk, and curbs cancer risk. All good reasons to start your day with a couple of cups of coffee because it's good for you.